Hey you guys, what is up? By the new year, I am Mina Jess. And I know it's been a while I've been away. It's just because I lost a loved one, which is my mom. Yes, and I guess God always knows what is best and I pray may her gentle so rest in perfect peace. With that being said, I'm back better and stronger. And today I asked you on my community tab in my WhatsApp status to, to ask me some um rela uh, relationship related questions to might want me to share my unpopular opinions about. And guess what? Some of you did and then I have some wonderful questions I will be addressing today. If you are ready. Cheers, let's go. So the first question I have here says that give some advice on dating your tweeters. As I clearly stated, these are my opinions. Yes, and opinions are like noses. Everybody gets some. Mm? What I would say is that when you are dating in your twenties, please open your eyes widely, check the red flags. Um, don't know why your standards when dating, like hoping like I'm looking my standard to get to know more about this person. Then later I tend to show them the real. Please don't do that. Just go with all your cards on the table. Show them the real you. If they like you, they will stay. If they don't like, they will move. And one thing I will add to that in this era of social media, please, please, if you are dating someone, just try to make it a little bit exclusive. Exclusive means like. Um, I'm not saying you should keep the person secretive, but let it be a little bit more private so that by the time you get into your early 30s, you've no nobody like I said, anybody that can just go through your social media and get uh, the list or the number of people you've dated. Like, you get you get that thing, you wouldn't want to be working around with that tag. If you just somebody wants to date you, just go to your social media page, just type them, you got a list of all the men you've dated because you posted them, my boo, my bae. Please, we don't want that. <laughs> if there's nothing on this finger, here, if this finger's naked, no one gets claimed. You don't get to say I, like I dated that. Taraji P. Henson. Because you know what? Now, today, with all of this social media, Absolutely. it's not private. It's finally, when I meet the one, he's gonna be like, well, you a hoe. You been with this one? This one. <laughs> Top it all. In your 20s, that's where I would say is the time for growth, where there is education, um, developing your goals, achieving your dreams, and so on and so forth. So, in this stage of your life, if you want to date, I would say you shouldn't try dating negative people, toxic people, people that will cut your dreams short and goals. And please, 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 this is the time you are supposed to have fun. Eh? So if um, somebody comes into your life that he's bringing the opposite, like instead of fun, he's bringing pain, negativity, please cut, cut, cut them off. Ah, we don't need that energy in your 20s, please. So that's the advice I'll give to anybody trying to date in your 20s. And the uh, second question I got from you people says, it's coming from a female who says, I don't have a boyfriend, what should I do? Okay, if I really understand you mean you are not dating and then you want to start dating, what you should do? What I would say you should do is the number one thing is start developing yourself. Nobody will want to like date somebody that will be a burden to him or her. So by the first thing you will do to attract somebody into your life is just um start developing yourself. I mean by doing something for yourself, helping yourself. So before the person meet, meets you, like you're already doing something for yourself. You are not just sitting idle waiting for somebody to come and date you. And then dress smart, look attractive, and go to places, go to more fun places that you meet new people. If you don't go out, you're only going to sit in your homes and guess what? The people you attract are the people probably you wouldn't like that much. Just visit more uh, places that you could meet your kind of guys you might want to date and make yourself more lovable that people can approach you. I guess, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, that's the dating tips I'll give to you. Yes, the next um, one I have here says that um, how do women want to be treated? Wow, this is like a million dollar question. <laughs> how do women want to be treated? Um, I would say first and foremost thing is men are always factual with staffs. So if it's not A, it is B. 
Whereas we women, we are not like that. We are emotional beings. So sometimes we need to be read to be understood, right? Men are very good. I wish women were a little better at this. Men are very good when you fight, you have the fight and it's over. It's not over for us. Yeah. We don't do that. <laughs> we ruminate about it. We think about it. We get mad about it. We call our mothers. We yeah. and, and unless you come back to it and resolve it, it lives. Yeah. In my kind of opinion, I'm saying women want more attention. And then you should be present in our lives and be passionate about things she's also passionate about. Okay. I feel, I feel uh, most times people think women are complicated. Men, some men think women are complicated. They are, have, they are hard to be with. They are difficult to date. But that's not the case. Women, we are lovable people. And then most of the times we are made up of emotions. And I would say if you are dating somebody, try to like talk to the person. You people should communicate about stuff. Ask important questions. Important questions like, What's your favorite food? What do you like doing on a leisure time? I want to really know you. For instance, let's say when you went to high school or uni, when you have a roomie, you wouldn't know what the person wants to. So, like you start, um, uh, uh, you post that living. So let's say if you put a plate here and the person is pissed about it, you know like, okay, I place this cup here today and the person is pissed about it. So tomorrow I won't put it here. Then tomorrow, instead of leaving it on the table, after washing, you go and keep it under the table. And you see the person that doesn't talk about it means that person is cool with that. So you try to coexist and then try to ask more important questions. Questions that will let you to know more about the person you are dating or you are See. And then I would say, try to let her know she's the one you are seeing. That thing is important too. You don't know. <laughs> Keep affirming us. Like, yes. And let her know what you like about her. Let's say, sometimes, let's say you like her pretty eyes, you, highly, you like her cute lips, you like her small nose or big nose like mine. Let her know. So that she keep like highlighting that whenever she's with you and compliment her and one thing i always want to tell men is uh, use the five love languages which is a word of affirmation quality time physical touch acts of service and acts of receiving gifts let your partner or your woman tell you which of them um it's unique to you or it's peculiar to her and please always play on those things it really really do help and the next question i have says um, how to be confident oh my gosh this thing confident means um i think me to me like let me put myself in a place confidence comes for me when i i i look i dress nicely like i'm I feel my face is on point and all kind of thing. That's how confidence comes for me. So always try to look and have a good in yourself and always try to be yourself. I think to me, always try to be yourself. Nobody is born confident. Me myself, I was the timid type, shy type, unfriendly type. So I used to be one my one corner, though I have so so many ideas. So it got to a point I was like girl you need to show up for yourself so wear that skin i think and the confidence is not built overnight it has to do with um you constantly doing what you love and always believing like believing in yourself dressing good and showing up for yourself i think yes this is how confidence comes and then maybe was rihanna was asked how she's always confident and she said sis you need to fake it to make it so what do you do on those days that you don't feel that confident or fearless or powerful like you did out there uh pretend fake it yeah until we make it i mean why not it's i think yeah that's the best advice you give to somebody i think the confidence comes from like feeling good yourself i mean feeling um, mentally feeling good about yourself um, physically feeling good about yourself, uh, living up for yourself, like living for yourself, it becomes a little bit more easy. The next question I have here says, what do you think about premarital sex? Um, premarital sex, they, though there are biblical explanations to 
all these things in the Bible, in the Quran, they always speak about primary taxes. I don't know if I should go with the religious aspects or like um, me myself personally, I'm not religious about stuff. I try to be honest and then trust my instincts about stuff. I think that's to me. And then um, the point is, and, and you are ready, you are confident, you are ready for it, and then. Um, you feel what you are doing is good for you. Who am I to judge you? Because at the end of the day, you are going to account for yourself. I am not going to be there to account for you. Trust your instinct about something and then always make sure what you are doing. Um, you look back tomorrow on that thing and you not regret your decision. That's what I think. As I said, I'm only sharing my own popular opinions about it and that's what, who am I to judge? So I'm not judging you, please. Is money always important in a relationship? Girl, money is important. <laughs> On a more serious note, though um, money is not always everything, but sometimes money is important in a relationship because the money they say makes the world go round. Money is not always the main focus. Um, in a relationship so if you are going make sure like the person you are going in for without um, um, actually, the person has plans the plans that will bring money tomorrow the person has future the person is respectful and all that the person could have all the money but wouldn't be respectful wouldn't treat you right that's what you wouldn't want in a relationship and then the money comes because decisions that uh, makes or activities in a relationship are being run by money and this is how the economy that we are in in ghana if you don't have money my sister you go die you <laughs> so with that being said um that's all for today's video and let me know in the comment section maybe something i said that you disagree with me because as i said earlier on opinions are like noses everybody got one so i shared why you don't agree with me let me know in the comment section and then let me also know if you also have something to add to what i have said so that we, since we are all here to learn from each other with that being said, that's all for today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.